He is known for his expertise in North American ornithology and mammalogy. He is recognized for publishing the first systematic zoology of America by an American. His name is George Org, Jr. In the realm of American zoology, one name stands out, George Ord, Jr., a renowned zoologist who dedicated his life to the study of ornithology and mammalogy. Born in the United States, Ord's passion for animals led him to make significant contributions to the field. His groundbreaking work can be traced back to his article, Zoology of North America, which was published in William Guthrie's Geographical, Historical, and Commercial Grammar. This article is recognized as the first systematic zoology of America by an American, based on specimens collected by the famous explorers Lewis and Clark. Ord's contributions to scientific knowledge were immense. He published the first scientific descriptions of numerous species, including the pronghorn antelope, grizzly bear, meadow vole, bushy-tailed woodrat, eastern gray squirrel, Colombian ground squirrel, black-tailed prairie dog, Bonaparte's gull, ring-billed gull, tundra swan, and Colombian sharp-tailed grouse. His meticulous research and detailed observations paved the way for a deeper understanding of North American wildlife. One of Ord's notable achievements was his willingness to challenge the works of another prominent figure in ornithology, John James Audubon. Ord's unique perspective and rigorous scientific approach brought new insights and perspectives to the field. His contributions not only expanded our knowledge of North American fauna but also inspired future generations of zoologists to continue exploring and studying the wonders of the natural world. George Ord, Jr.'s legacy as a pioneering zoologist is a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and the importance of preserving and understanding our natural environment. His work continues to shape the field of zoology, reminding us of the beauty and diversity of the animal kingdom that surrounds us. Ord, a young ornithologist, had the incredible opportunity to meet Alexander Wilson in the summer of 1811. Excited by their shared passion for birds, they embarked on two collecting expeditions to Cape May, New Jersey, during the spring migration seasons of 1812 and 1813. During their first trip in 1812, Ord made a remarkable discovery. He collected a bird that neither he nor Wilson could identify. Determined to capture its beauty, Wilson illustrated Ord's specimen and named it the Cape May Warbler, in volume 6 of his renowned work, American Ornithology. Tragically, Wilson's life was cut short by complications from dysentery in August 1813, leaving the completion of American ornithology in limbo. Recognizing Ord's dedication and expertise, Wilson named him an executor of his will. With a heavy heart, Ord took on the responsibility of finishing Wilson's life's work. Ord worked tirelessly to publish and distribute the remaining volumes of American ornithology. In 1824-25, he released a second edition, faithfully reprinting the first six volumes. However, to avoid confusion, he included the original publication dates on their title pages. Volumes 7 to 9 of the second edition were where Ord's own contributions shown. He revised and expanded these volumes, adding his own extensive, Life of Wilson. In this final volume, he paid homage to his late friend and mentor, compiling Wilson's unpublished writings and sharing an extended biographical sketch. The second edition of American Ornithology not only preserved Wilson's legacy but also showcased Ord's dedication and passion for the study of birds. Together, they had left an indelible mark on the field of ornithology, inspiring generations of scientists to come. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.